Good evening, Christopher Gavin here on July 16th, 2023 with SDI's FTT-122 Introduction to Ammunition and Basic Ballistics. Uh, this week four assignment, we had three questions we had to answer. Um, question number one was about stopping power. It is often used in firearms industries. However, is there actual mathematical formula to calculate stopping power? If so, is there only one formula or multiple? And what variables are these formulas based on? I said no. However, there are multiple types of formulas that show a different kind of scale of their own ideas of stopping power. On the example I have is from guns.com. Uh, the formula or the story is knockout formulas. Just how important is muzzle velocity to stopping power by David LaPell. John Pondoro Taylor, founder of the knockout, Taylor knockout formula comes from Taylor, a hunter. He's a big game hunter in Africa who knew he needed a round that just not only stopped, but kept it down. His uh, big game that he hunted. They used a 30-30 round, standard load consistent of 170 grain, moving at 2,200 feet per second. The formula is as followed. The TKO, which is your M bullet times V bullet times D bullet divided by 7,000. With that being said, M is your mass, V is your velocity, and D is your diameter. With that case is 170 times 2,200 times 3, 0.308 divided by 7,000, which gave them the answer of 16. And the scale goes from zero to 150 for stopping power. Obviously you would think 16 is not that great of the stopping power round, which I mean, it depends on what type of game you're hunting. It could be really good. So number two is according to research you conducted, do you agree with the formulas? What may exist, why or why not? And what is your definition of stopping power? I do not agree because if there was an actual formula for stopping power, they would actually have it. And my definition of stopping power is the amount of force used to stop a threat where force means the amount of damage to be done to that threat in order to stop it number three has modern basic science has modern ballistic science altered the way the term or concept can be altered or measured if so how no the math is still the same no matter what you do no matter what the changes are if you put in this the tkof for example if your mass has changed from 170 to 185 you're still going to get that same formula completed and get a different answer however so the stopping power may be a little stronger but you're still going to get the same the formulas are formulas math is math you can't change the math you can change the numbers you put in the math but you can't change the actual math it's just like science you can't change science either once again, this is Christopher Gavin, FTT-122, SDI's Introduction to Ammunition and Basic Ballistics. Y'all have a great night. See you next time.